Thank you, Connor. And so we're watching so many local races here, including the race for Sheriff Chris Nanos. We're going to try to see if he's going to remain in his position or if Lieutenant Heather Lappin is going to take over. Let's take a look right now. This one is very, very close as we're going to pull up those numbers for you here. Nanos with a 51 to 49 percent advantage, just barely with a lead there. You see he does have 168,000 compared to Heather Lappin's 159,000 votes. But they are still counting, so both candidates telling us that they're still cautiously optimistic at this point. There's also another race that the entire nation is watching right now, one that could decide the balance of power in the House of Representatives between incumbent Republican Juan Siscomani facing the Democratic challenger Kirsten Engel. After Engel was ahead early, Siscomani has now caught up and now has a slim lead. And when I say slim, I mean really slim. Take a look at these latest numbers here, both at 49%. Siscomani about 145,000 votes. Engel with 143,000 votes. That one is literally a toss up at this point. It's going to be real fun to watch that one down to the wire. The Associated Press says Republicans currently have 206 seats at the U.S. House of Representatives. Well, Democrats have 190. The magic number to control the House is 218, with 39 seats still yet to be called.